Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, the heavyweight boxing champion of the world with an undefeated record, 33-0-1. Well, he's not happy at my mate Joe Rogan. The godfather of UFC commentary was talking about the possibility of a fight, a hypothetical fight, between John Jones and Tyson Fury. And who would win if they were locked in a room together? Well, Joe Rogan thought that John Jones would be the victor. Tyson Fury is not happy. Here is what he had to say. I'm the baddest man on the planet. I heard Joe Rogan say something about me the other day and I've been off all the social media so I didn't reply to that little Little fucking midget, bald headed midget. I heard him say that John Jones could fuck me up if we went in the room together. I don't think so. Not a man born for him. Mother can fuck me up in a room on our own. Whatever happens in that room, I'd be walking out. Not a fucking problem. No man alive can beat me. No man born from a woman can beat me. Well, what happens if you're born from a man? Because apparently that can happen these days. Anyway, we're not getting into all of that stuff. No, we're not. No. Look, listen. Rogan was just giving his opinion, okay? It's a hypothetical conversation on his podcast from a little bit ago. And he didn't really say anything offensive. He just gave his opinion. Here's exactly what he had to say. Rogan said, no one thinks that Tyson Fury can beat John Jones in a fight. Tyson doesn't think that. You want to talk about who's the baddest man on the planet? If John Jones and Tyson Fury are locked in a room together, I'm pushing all of my chips on black. Tyson Fury is an amazing boxer, but he doesn't have an effing chance in hell of making it out of that room. Zero chance. He would have to catch John immediately with one punch and I just don't see that happening. Well, as we saw there, Tyson Fury, you know, he took exception to that. And listen, I don't blame him, you're right. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. He's got multiple belts, okay? He's got his pride. And as fighters, we are sensitive. And especially with, you know, Rogan's got a big, big platform. He's got the biggest podcast on planet Earth, you know? But Joe's a, a UFC guy, and Joe's spitting facts. I'm a massive fan of Tyson Fury, undefeated boxer, the journey that he's been on. You know, when he put on all that weight and he was spiraled into depression to claw back, to come back, to become champion of the world, and the fights that he's put on and some of the beatdowns and the skill that he has, has, the movement, the speed, the feints, everything, the cardio on Tyson Fury is ridiculous. But the reality is boxing is a limited skill set. It just is. It's one variant of mixed martial arts. We saw this when Hoist Gracie burst on the scene in 1993 at UFC 1. No one had seen jiu-jitsu and they didn't know how to defend it. But then people started to learn how to defend it. And then we had the time of the wrestlers. Then we had the ground and pound guys. Then we had the strikers with the takedown defense that had success. And slowly but surely, a new martial art was born. And that was called mixed martial arts and the sport of mixed martial arts. And boxing is one element of that. Now, in a boxing ring, John Jones, Tyson Fury, take my money. Put it on Tyson Fury all day long. But in a cage, it's very different. We saw John Jones when he became the heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, He went up against Cyril Garn, a formidable kickboxer, a tremendously talented man, and a big man at that as well. Well, he was taken down and guillotined pretty quick because he's not as good of a wrestler. John Jones has out-wrestled some of the best wrestlers in the UFC. Daniel Cormier springs to mind. One of the only men to take him down. But, of course, this is a big story. Tyson Fury's talking a lot of crap. And John Jones, well... He has responded in hilarious fashion. He said on Twitter, Hey Tyson, it seems like Joe may have struck a nerve. I'll admit there's no one touching you in that ring right now. But let's not let that confuse you with what would happen if you stepped foot in my cage. If you ever want to put some of those questions you got going on to rest, give Dana a call and I'll help you out. I mean, fair play. It seems like some of those comments from Joe have touched a nerve. And it did touch a nerve. As I said, fighters are sensitive beings. We really are. But we've seen this before. It's a tale as old as time. What would happen if mixed martial arts fought a boxer? Well, he's going to take him down. And do you know how I know this? Because we saw it. We saw it in 2010. UFC 118. Former heavyweight champ James Tony stepped into the octagon against Randy the Natural Couture. And what happened? If you come try to wrestle me, all the crazy of you I can do, it's going to be a short night for you. By the winner, by top out, Randy! Look, listen. These are different people. Every fight is different. But that was a boxer versus a mixed martial artist, and Randy Couture took him down, choked him out with an arm triangle at 3 minutes, 19 seconds. 
And I'm going to think more than likely the same thing would happen. Now, if you lock them in a room, not a UFC octagon, you've got to remember Tyson Fury's a gypsy, you know. I guarantee he knows how to throw down and not just box. The man's a street fighter as well. So, you know, he'll probably have a few elbows. He probably knows how to throw a knee or two. But John Jones is the most skilled and the greatest mixed martial arts that we've ever seen. What I want to see is Tyson Fury against Alexander Usyk or against Anthony Joshua, okay? Them two have been going at each other for years. Where are you? Where are you, AJ? AJ! But he's not the only one chiming in here. Jake Paul, yes, Jake Paul, I had to bring him up. He's jumping on the band magazine as well. Remember there was talk of Tyson Fury fighting Francis Ngannou. Okay, there was talk of Francis Ngannou fighting all kinds of boxers, but none of them materialized. Tyson actually offered Francis Ngannou, how about we fight in a cage with four ounce gloves on with Mike Tyson referee? And Jake Paul is trying to make that happen. He said, this would be iconic. Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou, two fight deal, boxing and MMA. Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury. One fight in the UK, one fight in Africa. I know Francis is man enough to get into that ring. Hey, and listen, Francis is man enough to get in that ring. Would Tyson Fury risk it all and get into a UFC octagon? I don't think he would, and that's not me talking crap about Tyson Fury. It's because the man's a boxer. He's not a mixed martial artist. He hasn't spent years learning takedown defense, learning jiu-jitsu, how to defend submissions, how to get back to his feet and use his punches, okay? These are all things that you have to consider. I love Tyson Fury. I love the journey that he's been on. And I want to see him go out there and fight the best boxers on planet Earth. And in fact, Tyson Fury had a bit more to say as well. Back in the gym today, and here's the challenge. I challenge Frank Warren to get me a fight in the northwest of England anytime soon. July, August, whenever you're ready, Frank, I'll be ready. Let's do it at our football stadium. Not a problem. Get me an opponent and I'm knocking him the f out, Frank. There you go, Frank Warren. Make it happen, Frank, because the big guns, so-called big dogs, don't want no in smoke until December and I'm ready to fight now come on since I've been away from boxing boxing's gone to a load of shit absolute shit I've got to give everybody in the country something to look forward to a proper fucking event because we haven't had one since I last fought in December enough said enough said indeed listen I want to see Tyson Fury fight, and I want to see him fight anybody. I would love to see Anthony Joshua. I would love to see Alexander Usyk. I would love to see John Jones or Francis Ngannou. The reality of any of those fights happening, though, is very, very difficult. But who do you think he will face? It ain't going to be John Jones. It ain't going to be Francis Ngannou. It ain't going to be in Africa, America, or anywhere. He ain't going to fight a mixed martial artist. Which boxer will win the Tyson Fury sweepstakes? What do you think? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.